Hello everyone, back to you in today's second video. So we're going to have a look at the GFS Ensembles for today's uh, second video. We're going to go through all 21 members of the Ensemble, see what they're showing for the week running up to and just arriving at uh, Christmas. So uh, I'll go with that for you in a second. Just, say, just to say that today's first video is here on the homepage. All you have to do is scroll down the page a little bit. And it's above the snow desk. Uh, and it sort of explains what's going on next week. Got a bit of a split, really, um, between the model output, between models that want to keep it generally quite cold, but frosty and dry, and the models that want to reintroduce the Atlantic and bring back an Atlantic flow, turn things a lot milder, and also potentially wetter and windier in time uh, for Christmas. And, of course, tonight's video is going to explore that a little bit more with the GFS ensembles as well. Uh, the cruise shop is open, so you've got any cruise shop to do at Amazon. Between now and Christmas, all you have to do is click the green button that says Gaz Cruise Shop. It takes you to our cruise shop page, and from there, go through the Amazon banners. Because you've gone from Gaz, uh, Gaz Weather Visa to Amazon, we you get a revenue fee on the things that you are buying. Uh, you've got plenty of time to uh, get those Christmas presents to you. It's only the 11th of December, but don't leave it too much uh, longer, I'd suggest, unless you want to pay a little bit extra for um, postage. But still, plenty of time, really, to get those presents out to you. Uh, so we'll have a look at the GFS Ensemble set and we're going to begin with the operational run of the uh, GFS. It's the midday run and it came out about an hour or so ago, a couple of hours ago actually. And um, we're starting on the 19th of December. It shows us still quite cold at the middle of next week with a ridge of high pressure close to the country. Uh, but by Wednesday the 20th, we're beginning to break that reach down and start to bring in milder air from off the Atlantic. And then that does take us to a more unsettled run up to Christmas on this run of the uh, GFS. So uh, we eventually turn quite unsettled this Christmas Eve, bringing quite a lot of wind and rain across the country on Christmas Eve. And Christmas Day and Boxing Day looks very unsettled too. We finish up on uh, Wednesday the 27th of December, as far as we can go, looking very wet and windy. That actually looks very stormy. There'd be gale force winds sweeping the country and bouts of heavy rain too. So this run of the GFS, this midday run, really does want to break down the ridge uh, by the middle of next week and turn things very unsettled for Christmas. Now we're going to have a look at each individual member of the GFS ensemble, see how much that idea, how much support that idea uh, has. We're going to start off with the control uh, run of the GFS ensembles, which is one of the slightly lower resolution compared to operational run we're just looking at, but a higher resolution compared to all other members of the uh, GFS ensembles. So we're beginning on, uh, again, 19th of December, where we still look quite cold under this ridge for southern and southeast parts of the country, but it's milder up to the north and the west, with quite a lot of wind and rain. And by the time you get through to the 21st, um, through to 23rd of December, to Christmas Eve, it is turning mild and unsettled then. So very quickly we break down that ridge, turn unsettled in time for uh, Christmas. And that takes us through to quite an unsettled Christmas, to say the least. That's how we finish up on uh, the 27th of December, looking a bit stormy, wet and windy weather coming through there. Let's go through to ensemble member number one and we can see that with this one. Again, we have high pressure to our south, low pressure up to the north and to the west on the 19th of December. Now, this one keeps more of a high pressure influence. So this is what we talked about in today's first video, the split between the uh, models that want to turn things unsettled, mild, wet and windy, and the split that between models that want to keep high pressure close to the country, keep it cold, dry and probably frosty. And that's what this ensemble member is doing with high pressure close to the country. That'll be a cold Christmas day. But we see there, we're bringing the air in from off the continent, so it'll be frosty and uh, maybe a few snow flurries around uh, southern coast. Finish up on the 27th of December, still under that ridge, dry, cold and frosty. So that's a high pressure one, ensemble member number one, and uh, it's generally quite uh, cold and dry. Ensemble member number two looks much more unsettled. This one is unleashing the Atlantic for Christmas. We're up to Christmas um, Day and Boxy Day now, turning quite stormy. So this one definitely wants to bring the Atlantic back as we go through the week running up to uh, Christmas. 
All these ensemble members are starting off on uh, the 19th of December, by the way. Uh, third, um, ensemble number, number three uh, looks like this. So, a uh, bit of a battle going on with this one up to the 20th, 21st. Trying to bring the Atlantic in, but having a lot of cold air just sitting to our east. That might actually be a bit of a snow event there on the uh, 21st of December. However, after that, the Atlantic's breaking through. So, yes, we go very unsettled, wet, windy, maybe storming over the Christmas period itself. Ensemble member number four looks like this, so uh, windy and stormy on the 19th of December. And uh, we just keep things unsettled, really going through to Christmas. This one very Atlantic-driven and uh, really quite stormy there over the uh, Christmas period. Maybe a little bit cold as well, especially so up in the north with a bit of wintry potential. Ensemble member Number five looks like that. High pressure to ourselves, low pressure to the north on the 20th of December. Uh, and then going towards Christmas, we keep high pressure close to us, but in a relatively mild uh, position. And then over Christmas itself, well, the signals are there turning increasingly wet and windy. Uh, on some member number six uh, coming up next. So we find this one looks colder on the 19th of December. We're pulling down quite cold air from a north northeasterly uh, direction at that point. The Atlantic has a go at getting in, but uh, we keep a high pressure influence close to the country until we get to Christmas itself uh, when it turns more unsettled again. So, yes, we are turning unsettled, quite stormy again there through the Christmas period, potentially wet, windy, and maybe finishing up by the 27th of December quite cold. Ensemble member number seven shows that got high pressure to our south and to our east, low pressure up to the north and west on the 19th of uh, December. And then we just build that high pressure through. So this one is an anticyclonic one and it would be cold going up to Christmas. This takes us to Christmas Day when the Atlantic is breaking through. That could be bringing some snow, would you believe, as it's meeting that cold air. And then after that, it turns very stormy, very quickly. So this one delays the return of the Atlantic and the Westerlies till just after Christmas. But it does get there with a very deep 935 millibar area of low pressure just to our west. This is ensemble member number eight, and we have high pressure close to the country on the 19th of December. That will still be dry, cold, and frosty. Is this one going to maintain that high pressure? Well, certainly up to the 23rd of December, we're keeping the high pressure going. So cold weather continues there up to Christmas. will be some really hard overnight frost uh, coming through with that. What happens over Christmas? Well, we keep that high pressure going for England and Wales. So still dry, cold, and frosty on Christmas Day there, but Scotland and Northern Ireland looking uh, milder and wetter. By the 27th of December, again, it looks like the Atlantic is beginning to uh, break through. We go through to ensemble member number nine, and this one has high pressure to the south, low pressure to the north, and we bring the air up from the southwest. This is the website metroseal.fr, by the way, and I'm sure if I uh, mention that. So we go up to Christmas and we keep an anticyclonic influence, but this time not particularly cold uh, with that high pressure. Uh, would be a lot of dry weather, and you probably expect some frost, especially so for England and Wales. By the 27th of December, as far as we can go, we are breaking down that high pressure and going into quite a wet, windy and stormy period. Uh, so again, that looks like it's unleashing the Atlantic by the end of the run. We're up to ensemble member number t uh, 10, halfway through. We start off on the 19th of the 10th with uh, low pressure up to the north and west, high pressure to the south and east, mainly dry and cold. Then we unleash the Atlantic. Here it comes through the Christmas period, turning wet and windy uh, there by uh, Christmas and just beyond Christmas. I have to say, it looks like the GFS ensembles are shifting towards the Atlantic winning this and uh, turning stormy. Whether that happens before Christmas or just after Christmas, that's a little bit more uncertain. But it does look like the Atlantic is probably going to come back uh, for the second half of December. Let's carry on. Ensemble member number 11 looks like this. A very unsettled uh, this one quite stormy, quite wet and windy, very green Christmas to say the least, but also potentially a very mild and wet Christmas. Uh, that's how we finish up on the 27th of December, looking stormy out to uh, the west and bringing up quite a mild southerly, southwesterly wind. Ensemble member number 12 looks like this again. We start off on the 19th of December with high pressure to our south, low pressure 
up to the north and to the west as well. And we bring through a strong westerly flow. So this one, again, we're unleashing the Atlantic. It looks mild and wet and potentially at times quite windy for Christmas. Ensemble member number 13, uh, next. Again, looks quite stormy there for the 19th of uh, December to 20th. That's a proper windstorm, actually. Severe gales are uh, battering the country. And then we go up to Christmas. This is Christmas Eve, for example, and it looks wet and windy. And then we carry on over Christmas and just beyond Christmas and we stay in that Atlantic-driven flow. So, yep, this is another one that is looking very unsettled, quite wet and windy for the uh, Christmas period. This ensemble member, number 13, when we have the high pressure to ourselves, low pressure, uh, number 14, I should say, we have high pressure to ourselves and low pressure to the north and west on the 19th of December. And same old story, yep, the Atlantic is coming through strongly there uh, over there and beyond the Christmas period. Wet and windy, but also mild with ensemble member number 14. Ensemble member number 15 shows high pressure close to us on the 19th of December, but uh, in a relatively mild position, that one. And, uh, yep, here we go again. The Atlantic comes back. Another one that's wet, windy, and potentially at times stormy over the Christmas period. This isn't what a lot of you want to hear, I know, but this is what the uh, GFS ensembles are showing tonight. It's a very strong signal to return the Atlantic for Christmas. This is uh, ensemble member number 16 with low pressure out to our west. Still relatively cold, but uh, that doesn't last long. Here we go again. We're off and running into another stormy spell of weather. This one's a little bit of a colder variety of unsettled weather, though. The uh, jet stream is on a bit more of a southerly track here, uh, taking these low pressures to our south. So they're actually just beyond Christmas. It's turning quite cold. We're pulling in some air from the north and the northeast. So that's unsettled, but a colder variety. And it does eventually finish up quite cold um, from the north and northeast. Although with uh, 900 and uh, I think that's 945 millibar low pressure to the south of Greenland on the 27th of December. You expect very quickly the Atlantic would start to rattle through. Uh, near the end, this is ensemble member number 17. And uh, we have high pressure to our south, low pressure up to the north and west on the 19th of December. Let's go through, and it's the same old story. It looks like quite a stormy Christmas indeed, and that continues with this strong westerly flow to just after Christmas. Ensemble member number 18 starts quite cold, this one, on the 19th of December. We've got high pressure reaching through the country and trying its best to get up to Scandinavia. Uh, will that be able to fend off the uh, Atlantic? It looks like it may do. So this is between the 3rd of December through to Christmas Eve. And this one, this one is the one you've been waiting for. If you want cold weather for Christmas, this one's got high pressure over Scandinavia. The wind is pulling in from the east. That's bringing cold easterly winds and probably snow showers uh, with it for uh, Christmas. That takes us to Christmas Day and it does look cold there, that high pressure dominating over Scandinavia. Just sized by the end, 27th of December, it's beginning to be broken down uh, by the stormy areas of low pressure in the Atlantic. But even to them, ensemble member number 18 is quite cold. Ensemble member number 19 and penultimately looks like this. We've got an area of low pressure out to the north and west on the 19th of uh, December. And uh, this one is just bringing the Atlantic through big time. So it looks very stormy, often very mild as well over the Christmas period. Wet, windy, traditionally wet and windy and mild and stormy Christmas with ensemble member number 19. And then we round it all off with ensemble member number 20 starting off under an area of high pressure which looks cold. Uh, what's going to happen? So this one wants to maintain high pressure. It's not wintry, but it is pretty cold. It would be frosty under that high pressure for uh, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Boxing Day and beyond starts to see the Atlantic being unleashed and breaking down that ridge. So by the 27th of December, we're into mild and unsettled weather. The GFS ensembles have shifted tonight and they've shifted into... A green Christmas, generally. It looks if he's, this is right, if these ensembles are right. Like, we are going to have quite a wet, windy and stormy 
Christmas. There is the possibility, it's there within a few ensemble members, of having high pressure clinging on. Uh, eventually, its days are probably numbered after Christmas, but it might just cling on long enough uh, to Christmas to be able to give us a cold and frosty feel. Um, but it's a low probability that the strong suggestion there is that we break this ridge down and we unleash the Atlantic and it turns potentially really very stormy, actually, over the Christmas period. There's just that one ensemble member that is genuinely wintry with high pressure over Scandinavia and the easterly wings. Very much an outlier within all of the other ensemble members. So I would suggest that this stage should discount that. Never say never with the weather, but it's very unlikely that uh, we get those easterly wings that we saw on, I think it was ensemble member number 18. So overall, it looks like the GFS ensembles are shifting to a stormy and potentially very mild Christmas. Uh, we will wait and see whether this is uh, developed any further. So um, we're still a few uh, days away from being able to firm up on this. So it may be there'll be some final twists in the tail, but at the moment... Um, after a cold first half of December, it was like the second half could turn significantly uh, not only milder, but also wetter and stormier. Right, more tomorrow with tomorrow's video updates. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.